Check. We're on, but I can't hear myself. Something wrong there? Uh, I can hear you. Can you? All right. Check one, two. Check one, two. Yeah, something wrong. I can, check, I, check, I can check. see it's going. That's fine. Oh, we're on. Hey, you're recording us. All right, we're good. No, that's that's professionalism at its best. We're working. <laughs> Your B minus is gonna go up here, Brian. <laughs> hey, welcome to Game Four of Reading Freshman Rocket Football. The captain's out today. Number eighty, Alex Nefgatchel. Number eighty-seven, his brother James Nefgatchel. We get number sixty-five, Masucci. Oh, sorry, not sixty-five, Masucci. It's uh, Dave Lynch, sixty-five. Number twenty-one, Adam DiNapoli. We had a great game last week. Hey, Brian, Rockets three and zero after a huge win last week in. Um, Lexington, what I like to do is single out a couple of guys who didn't really call their names last week. One of them was number three. Uh, our boy Kyle Flanagan had a huge game out of corner last week, made a bunch of big plays. And one thing I would tell you guys to look at, when you're, when you're not calling an offensive lineman's name, that's usually a good thing. There was a sake sequence in last, year's, last week's game with number 60, Sean Beckenhuis. It was, a, it was a play where he sprung Nick Perez for a first down. Beckenhuis absolutely destroys his guy with a, with a drop block, then comes up and crushes another guy. He takes out two of the nine players in the opposing team. If you were an offensive line coach, you want to play that one on repeat for everybody. So huge plays by Sean Beckenhuis last week and Kyle Flanning and just a couple of big plays. The defense in general came up very, very big for the Rockets. So right here we're set off. It looks like this Belmont. This is a Belmont team, Brian. We don't know a lot about, right, because no, we never no, saw no. them in uh, – we never saw them in uh, Pop Warner. And I'm not even sure if they're in the, in the actual Pop Warner program, but it looks like they're going to be set to kick off here. Small numbers again for Belmont. Only 20 players over there uh, on that team, which can be good or bad. If they're the right 20, that's great. But if not, you can get gassed early and get run down by a team like the Rockets. So we'll be back in a second for the kickoff. Check. One, two. Check. Check. Looks like we can't power down here, so we'll, te we'll check that camera just in a sec. Usually there's an on and off up here, Brian. We try. After the kickoff, we'll get back and see if we can get it going here. So back deep, it looks like we have maybe Trevor Thornton. And the two Trevors back there, Trevor Thornton and Trevor Conroy, back deep. Just waiting for the whistle. Okay, nice run back. The camera's acting up on this. This time I'm going to actually uh, say you were right. It is the camera's fault on this one. Looks like we start with, uh, is that Perez to start? Flank by Fleming. Handoff up to Lucas. Nice little cutback. Good pursuit, but Lucas still fighting. Fights it for a tough couple of yards, two, maybe three to start here. But Rockets start out with Perez and Fleming in the backfield uh, to start. Oh, fuck. Just double check. You can double check this, so. All right, here we are, second and call it seven. Same setup. It's going to be inside handoff to Lucas this time. He cuts back. Oh, he's, oh, he just stumbles over his own feet. He's trying to make a little bit more out of it, following some blockers. He gets it probably about a yard and a half short here. With this lineup here, we got uh, Mike DePietro out there uh, and Jonathan Grady, two of the fastest guys on the team, flanked uh, right. In comes um, Trevor Thornton right now. We got some speedsters out there too, number 87. Neff Gatchel and number 23 in there, Derek Van Horn. This camera's all messed up. <laughs> oh, man. All right, handoff right up the middle to uh, Thornton. He takes it for the first down over midfield. So nice job by Thornton there. It's going to be first and 10 on the Belmont side of the ball. All right, first and 10 here. Rockets. Van Horn, Neff Gatchel near side. Thornton. That's a keeper for Perez. Good pursuit right there, though. Bust right through that line, and uh, it's a pushback of about two or three yards there on first down. So got a block on that old line. Left side of that line, need a little bit of help, but uh, Nick Perez usually can turn nothing into something, but this time he gets stacked up by a couple of Belmont uh, defenders. It's going to be second and 13 upcoming. 
Here we go. Second and 13 right here. They've switched positions, the uh, wideouts. Inside handoff to Thornton. What a hole up there. He takes it. Still on his feet, and he takes it for about, let's say, a good five or six yards. Not the greatest spot that I see here. A better spot on the near side. So moves it to about the 45-yard line. We're going to call it third and seven right here for the Rockets. Perez coming in with a play. I like the speed here right here. Rockets a little bit quicker with their play calling this time. Let's keep this defense on their, on their heels. Fleming flanking them this time. Inside handoff to Lucas, and he bowls it forward. Ah, oh, still spins off, and that's a first down. Nice run by Lucas Fleming right there. Fleming and Thornton look like uh, very similar runners out there, Brian. They're yeah. big, tough guys. They don't like to go down in their big first run. It was bad enough seeing one of them last year with Fleming. Now Thornton joins the team this year. They look like twins out there. Hammer, thunder, and lightning out there, right? Right. Here we go, first and 10 here, Perez. It's going to be a keeper for uh, Nick. He tries to get outside, cuts back in. Gets stacked up very quickly, so probably a gain of one or two right there. Closed very quickly. Nice job by Belmont. And it's going to be second and call at nine upcoming. All right, second and nine here for the Rockets. Big Logan Fortuna in there on the left uh, tackle side here. Get the names for the other offensive linemen. Uh, it looks like movement right here. You know, the Rockets, looks like these guys are all jumping a little bit early, and I think the, a, lot of, a lot of the freshman referees are, are, let, are set to let that stuff go if it's not too blatant, but that one was a little much right there. But also on that line in there, we have um, Joe Gilligan is 66. 54 is Anthony Masucci in there. See who's doing the snaps in there. They swap up Fleming for uh, Thornton. In comes uh, the play. We need about maybe 10 right here for a first down. Going to be back to pass. Is it? He's got, oh, right underneath. Nice job. A little dump screen over the middle. Big play right there. And Thornton takes it very, very close. I think he's just short of the first down. A good-looking play. They let the pursuit get in. I think that's by design, right? Yep. Dump it right over their heads. And that's the first time we've seen that play. And it was a, it was a nice one. So it's going to be th third and very short here. So I was I was about to say, where's that blocking? Until you realize uh, yeah. you know, they were actually supposed to let those guys get in, <laughs> dump it right over his head. So nice play. Not a great spot there. I thought it was a lot closer to that 25-yard that, uh, line. Nonetheless, third, short, and indefinite four-down territory. High snap. Oh, no. Nice job. Oh, boy. Look at, uh, look at that. For, you want to talk about athletic play. A missed handoff right there. Pops in the air. Perez grabs it and takes it for a first down. That is got to hurt when you're Belmont. You get in there, you make a play. And uh, as we said, you'll see it all day long. Perez and DiNapoli. I'm oh, sorry, but I said DiNapoli. Damari, right? Those Italian D's, yeah, yeah, you know, they the messed D's, me up. Yeah. That's, you know, when you're in O'Connor, it's, sometimes it's hard to say <laughs> those things. So, nonetheless, Damari and, uh, and Perez, a quarterback, those guys can turn something into nothing, and Nick Perez does just that for the first down. So, it's going to be just about at, uh, in the red zone here, called the 22-yard line, first and 10. It's a swing pass out here. First pass out there is to Mike uh, DePietro, which is which is unfortunate they had good coverage there because DePietro can burn. I'd love to see him get a chance to make a move. I like that swing pass out there, but maybe need a little help. <laughs> no one out in front of him out, out there. So completed pass. Unfortunately, it's a completed pass. It goes for a loss. That's one of those ones where we talked about it last week. One of the Lexington players made a pass on a swing pass. You might be better off dropping a ball if you got two guys bearing down on you. But that cost the Rockets six uh, six yards there, even with the uh, executed pass. So, nonetheless, it's call it second and 17 here.
Back to pass again is Perez. He's looking left and right. He's, oh, they're all over him. Oh, there's going to be a hit. Maybe a hit from behind here. Looks like a flag that's going to push it back or a hold. And it is. It's a hold on the Rockets. And now we're going to push it back another 10. Going to be second and forever upcoming. Watch out there. Every play so far, right? Here we go. All right, second and long. The Rockets going the other way for a couple plays here. Oh, bad snap there, but Perez picks it up. He's going to look here. He's got to make one move. He gets tackled right here and then gets stacked up for a loss. So low snap cost him to pick it up, and unfortunately uh, good coverage downfield. Didn't give Perez the time to uh, get off a play, and now the Rockets are going back. It's three plays in a row for negative yardage. <laughs> That's uh, not the way you want to go here, but. I assume, I assume even at the 40, it might be four down territory, but a uh, couple of plays uh, in the bag right now that we gotta, we, get, we need some big yardage here to keep this drive going, Brian. We're looking at close to third and 30 here for the Rockets. Perez flanked by Fleming in the backfield. High snap, but he pulls it down, throws it across the middle. Oh, right there. 84 was right in there, and that was Jonathan Grady. Good looking pass, threaded the needle there, and Grady couldn't hold on to it. Might have got tipped. It was hard to see from here, but looked like a decent pass underneath, and in comes an entirely new offense here for uh, the Rockets. They switch up everybody, and Danny Damari's going to get his first shot on fourth down here. See if Damari in this uh, group two can get something done here. He's looking for one more player. All right, here we go. Fourth down here for the Rockets. Gonna t oh, it looks like it's going to be a punt here for uh, Thornton. And it is. Nice one. Nice punt there for uh, he tries to feel fair catch, and he gets it. So fair catch is going to put him down right at the 10. Nice kick by Trevor Thornton, and the Belmont's going to take over here for the first time offensively from their own 10. So Rockets had some nice plays in the first drive and then got stalled. A, you know, a, a play for a loss and a couple of penalties. And a low snap, uh, that'll do it for you. So the Rockets move, uh, move backwards. Move the ball well and move the ball backwards uh, not so well. But here's the defense going to take over here. First and 10 for Belmont. Let's see what they have. It's like an I formation here. Guy in motion. It's a swing out left. Right in there, Trev. Oh, he cuts back. It's an athletic play. Gets by Oki here. Gets pushed out. So this guy turns nothing into something too. Finally gets taken out there by, looks like Ferrante, but listen, he went he went left. Trevor Conroy came up and closed it. He cut back and he turned it into a first down. So athletic play by number five there. And it's going to be a first down on the very first play from scrimmage for Belmont. Here we go. All right, here we go. First and 10 for Belmont from just about the 25-yard line here. Handoff right up the gut, and Dominic DiCrescenzo jumps right on him. So nice play by DiCrescenzo. Gets helped out by Adam Diemer as well. So Adam Diemer was another guy I wanted to name last week, Brian. He had some real pursuit in those la in that last drive, getting right through the back uh, right through the backfield. Didn't make the plays in the backfield, but disrupted the plays well enough. So Diemer was another guy I want to bring up. A real strong play from that inside linebacker position. Looks like we have Deemer and Lynch on the inside, and we have Danny Damari now on the outside with uh, Trev Conroy. So Damari in a new position for the third time in three weeks. <laughs> Changing it up. We got some movement right there off the line, and that's going to move them. Uh, looked like he was going to motion, but I think he actually stepped forward first. So that's going to move back Belmont five yards here. So that front four is O'Connor, DiCrescenzo, Larry Lorenza, and Kajander with Ferrante, Damari, Lynch, Deemer, Conroy, Perez back deep. I think it's Flanagan on the right side. Throws it underneath and just a, just a poor pass there. A little bit way ahead of him. The number 24 was supposed to be going upfield. So let me third and long upcoming here for Belmont. 
Actually, on the far right side, that's Adam DiNapoli. Made some huge plays in that win last week against Lexington. I formation here for Belmont. It's going to be a handoff up the middle. Oh, almost there. Oki just got evades Oki, but uh, Dominic DiCrescenzo comes over. Like Oki had a shot early for him, and luckily Dominic uh, came in and picked him up. So little gain here. It's going to be fourth and ten. Nice job by Dom to come over and help Oki. I'll have to talk to him about his tackling technique. We just caught him on film. <laughs> Wait till we break down that film together. Buddy. <laughs> nice job, though. That's an athletic player back there, too. He broke, he broke off an earlier big run. That was nothing. So big play right here for the Rockets, fourth down. i got to think they're going to kick it from here. And they, and they, they are set up to kick. Anything goes of these uh, long snappers at this level, Brian. Yep. We saw it last week. Let's see if uh, Belmont can pull it off. Nice kick right there. Back deep is Napoli. Got plenty of time here for midfield. Cuts right, cuts up. Nice move. So rips it off for about 11, and the Rockets will have excellent field position here from the Belmont 39 right now to start this. So that could be the end of the quarter. I think they might have yelled quarter, and we'll get back to you in a sec. All right, first down here, and it looks like we have Damari flanked with the two big backs here. Damari's going to keep it right behind Thornton. What a hole, and Danny takes it. Oh, he cuts up. Still on his feet, caught from behind. He rips off 15 on his first play from scrimmage. We're used to seeing that out of, uh, out of Damari. But I tell you, watching Damari go behind uh, Thornton and Fleming, those are a couple of big boys ahead of you. So first down for Dan Damari here, just about the 24-yard line for the Rockets. All right, first down here for the Rockets. We get Jacob Jander snapping. Two big backs flanking Damari again. This time it's a handoff to Fleming. Gets met in the back. Oh, it's not Fleming, it's Thornton, right? Look exactly alike, and Trevor rips that one for about seven yards. 44 and 34, the same body type, yeah. same running style. That won't be the last time I mess that one up, Brian. Yeah, exactly. I'll tell you, there's another reason why I'm messing things up. I just spent four days in New Orleans. That'll do yeah, it. For, for quote unquote work. <laughs> I need a week off, Brian. You know what I'm saying? I bet. So, happy to get back here, though. It's nice to work out work from your home when you come down and see the boys' games on a Thursday afternoon. And it is absolutely beautiful out here. No doubt. Second and short here for the Rockets. Fleming right, Thornton left on Damari. This one's a keeper for Damari. He waits for the hole. Look at look at this. He's still on his feet. Cuts back. Oh, he, can't, he doesn't want to go down. Danny very, very close to the first down. You see that type of patience, right? Oh, yeah. He waits for Thornton to go through, follows the big guy, and then looks for a hole. That is just smart football right there. Let the big guys blow through that hole and follow him right through, and he rips that off for a first down. It's first and goal from the four upcoming. Damari comes back in with the play. I don't see why you have to do anything different than one of those two plays, right? Yeah. Just this time, thing. Thornton right, Fleming left on Damari. It's a keeper for Damari right up the gut, and he's in untouched. So Danny Damari goes right in, and that's that offensive line did a nice job right there on those on those guys. And you put a couple of big backs in there. Rockets go right in, and early in the second quarter, it's Redding six, Belmont nothing. We'll see what the extra point brings. Nortellis goes in for the extra point, so does Conroy. We also have um, DiNapoli in there, as, and Thornton stays in for the extra. Coach Videra sends the play in for Damari. Spread out here wide. Only Thornton flanking Damari on this one. It's going to be back to pass. Oh, he's got a big hole there, and he gets wrapped up. So he, I don't think, I think that was supposed to be a pass, maybe a pass option to run, but Danny gets wrapped up there, and it's no good. So we hate to see those extra points go down because they can come and cost you later like they did for our friends uh, Lexington last week. But nonetheless, Rockets moved down very quickly uh, here in the se uh, second quarter, and... It's six nothing Reading as we get set to kick off. Rockets first, Rockets first kick off of the day. Brendan Fox back there. Nice boot there. Gets scooped up. He's actually on his knees, and that should be a whistle, and it is. 
went down to his knees to field. It's automatically downed right there. So good break for the uh, Rockets there. He went down to his knees. Probably didn't have to to pick that one up, Brian. And the Rockets uh, kick it to just to the 20, call it 27-yard line. So that's that's good field position for the Rockets. Nice kick by Foxy. And fortunate that the guy was down on one knee when he scooped it up. So here we go right here. We get, Let's see who the Rockets get lined up in D there. We got Swanee in there. We got Joe Gilligan in there. We got Masuch in there. Sean Cronin on that line. Ferrante, Deemer, Flanagan, Damari. Back deep is um, Perez. We need one more player in there. He's got to get set. Doesn't matter. It's up over his head. Oh, Swanee with some big pursuit right there. Gets around and gets almost back to the original line of scrimmage. So good pursuit by Swanee, but a high snap was what cost him there. I think Lynchy got in there. Lynchy came onto the field late and then just kept running across the field and was part of that tackle. <laughs> so Rockets had 10 guys to start there. Fortunate for them, it turns into a high snap, and it's actually a loss of two yards here. So, And Kyle Flanagan. Mont. I formation right now. We got motion here. We've seen this one. He goes back to throw. Oh, cuts up. He's got a nice little hole. Oh, Deemer almost cut in. He made a nice move. Beautiful run right there. Adam Deemer had a beat on him. Quarterback cuts up and rips it off for 15, call it 17 yards there because it was 12, and that's a first down. So Rockets looked like they were set up nicely for a play, and um, – Credit the quarterback for um, Belmont for turning that one into a big gainer. Number nine, Dana Isbell goes in for Damari. That middle linebacker position, or I say outside linebacker. They'll call these guys corners here. First and ten here for Belmont. Little motion. Hand off. Oh, it's a swing pass right there. Nice looking play. Plenty of room here. Beautiful tackle. He reaches for the first, but that's a nice tackle to see who came up with him there. Hard to see. I think uh could have been Lynchy over there making that play, but it's going to be a nicely set up play and a uh, good tackle to save it from the first down, but nonetheless an eight-yard gain here across midfield for Belmont. So two very big plays from scrimmage to kick off this series. They break the huddle second and short. You see that one of those plays, Brian, looks like that triple option, right? Yeah, yeah. Goes in motion. He can keep it, go back to pass, or he can hand it off to two different people. This was handed off right up the gut. Oh, he stops and starts, and he gets some room. And he's got a hole to run through, too. Last guy to pull him down is looks like Perez. So nice, nice push by that rocket D-line on the left. He cuts back and rips it off, though. Broken play turns into a huge play for Belmont, and they are absolutely mowing down uh, Redding on this series so far. First and 10 from about the 25-yard line. Right up the gut. He gets tripped up. Gets met very quickly. Number nine in there is Isbell. See who else was in there, 53 with Swanee. So nice play by Dana Isbell coming in there from the middle linebacker position. Second and nine upcoming. Here we go, second and nine here after the short gain. Belmont controlling the, the field and the time of possession in this quarter. I'm going to see if we're getting late in the second. So the handoff right up the gut. Nice job by, oh, he's big pursuit by Swanee. And he gets through him, and he's on his feet. He's going. One more to beat, and he's in. Wow. Swanee had a bead right on him, couldn't take him down, and the runner rips it off for a touchdown. So a couple of athletic players right there on uh, Belmont's side. Rocket not looking their best on that particular series. Four plays they go from... 72 yards in four plays, 
three of those ones very big plays and plays that, frankly, were broken plays, Brian. Yep. They, were, they were plays that they could have had if we could close them early. And uh, once the plays were broken, they turned them into something big. So big extra point here. We talk about that every time. So let's see if Belmont could do something here. This would be a very, very big play here if Redding can get a stop. Oh, it's a high snap over his head. That's fortunate for the Rockets. And in comes Flanagan. He doesn't want to go down, but they're going to stop him. So, wow, that's a break for the Rockets right there. The high snap. He looked like he was going to do any number of things right there. And I think, actually, that wasn't Flanagan. It was number nine. It was Dana Isbell again. Sorry, so Dana Isbell's in there. His father's going to yell at me for not wearing my glasses today. That nine <laughs> looking like a three. It's a multiple of three, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, let's see how I'd like to throw in some math on you. I don't want to mess go. you up there, Brian, because yeah, I, I know no math idea. wasn't your strong suit in, yeah. uh, in high school. Definitely not. But nonetheless here, uh, with probably just a, a few minutes left here in the half, it's, it is Redding 6, Belmont 6. All right, here we go. Belmont set to kick back. It looks like um, the two Trevors back there, Conroy and Thornton. It's a short kick this time. Goes to Jaheem Nortellis, and he pulls it in. So nice job by Jaheem. It got away from him, but he pulled it in. Rockets are going to have pretty good field position here from the 38-yard line. We'll see who uh, Coach Federa sends in, if it's going to be the Damari squad or the Perez squad here. We're doing double duty here, Brian. Um, Ace Bryson came up, my uh, JV baseball coach from uh, Reading High, some 35 years ago, and he taught us how to uh, work the clock. There we go. Not now the timer the or the oh clock, boy. though, just the score. He goes, listen. I don't need you guys messing up the time, all the people yelling at us for getting it wrong. So here we are. Damari, we've seen this one. This is a new one, the two big backs. It's going to be a handoff right up the middle to Fleming, it looks like. What a hole. Oh, he doesn't want to go down. One guy left. Comes down. It looks like he ripped him down by his face mask. But I say it's Fleming and it's Thornton. <laughs> How about that, right? <laughs> Once again, I see the fours on the right side there, and they run so similarly with Trevor Thornton absolutely rips it right up the middle. That, that had to be about a 50-yard run right down to the 23-yard line. So we'll have Molly Thornton yelling at me, uh, my neighbor around the corner for getting Trevor's name wrong, but at least we corrected on this one. Yeah. Huge run by Thornton, and what a hole up the middle in that line. This, one's a, this one goes to Thornton again. It's almost the same exact play, and he spins that up very, very close to a first down. Another one. Two huge runs for Thornton, and he is tearing up real estate very quickly here for the Rockets. I don't think they were happy with that long, sustained drive and a, and a uh, touchdown. They want to answer it quickly, and so far it's been the Trevor Thornton show for this series. Call it second and one right now. Credit the middle of that line in there, too. Huge holes up there. Someone blew a whistle there. I don't know if I think he's just going to do a play. I think he, I don't think there was a flag on that play. The whistle went off. He didn't know if he had it on the right uh, line marker. So anyway, this Belmont team looks like they have a three-man front. And if you have a three-man front, you better have those five guys in the middle better be very, very good athletes. This one's a keeper for Damari. He falls the two big guys. Oh, nice, Jilly. He fights off one guy. Still on his feet, but he gets pushed back. Danny didn't want to go down. Probably a loss of a yard there. But nonetheless, uh, nice job. By, I think it was number 19 came in there to grab Damari and hold him because he was following uh, the two big backs. So credit, uh, credit 19 for uh, Belmont for a pushback here. You don't see that too often with Damari, Thornton, and Fleming in the backfield. A third and call it two and a half, three. We had Fleming left, Thornton right. This one goes to Thornton. Big hole again. Still on his feet. Drives it forward right down into the inside the five-yard line. Tackle. It's going to be first and goal. So right back to Fleming. <laughs> how, how many times are they going to do it? Right <laughs> back to Thornton. Right back to Thornton and uh, – Rips off another you big game. You got a 50-50 shot to get it right, so. Yeah, I've been, uh, I, and I've been about a 50% <laughs> right, right? Just can't quite get it together. That's all right. 
nonetheless, here for, this is that was my four days in uh, in New Orleans. Exactly. Brian. I'm lucky. Um, yeah. I even know who you are right now. Here we are. <laughs> I don't even know who I am. Right now. <laughs> Same thing up the middle of Thornton. He goes in untouched. So Trevor Thornton carries the ball four times there collectively for about 60, 70 yards. One touch for uh, Damari in there. And they go in for the score. So the Rockets make that one look easy. Credit that old line there too. Offensive line just a big pushback there. And that may be something that, to be said about scheme too. Because when you got three guys on the line, those five guys that they have in the back is going to be very, very good players. And if you can get through that first line, we know that these guys, you hit them once, they don't go down on that first contact. Same thing right up the gut, Thornton. He just bowls through. Bowls nice. through again. Simple play call, but why deviate from that when it's working, Brian, right? Yep. Simple play call up the middle. And this is what we talked about, that defensive scheme. If they get through that first three... You either have to have some guys who can hit like Danny Damari on the other side, every yeah. one of them. But that first hit, if that first hit comes from one of your linebackers, you're too late when you're dealing with Trevor Thornton or Lucas Fleming, much less Damari. So the Rockets march down. They make it look easy, and they make the extra uh, point look easy. And here we are very late in the second. Uh, good – they needed that type of time. I don't know what we have for time here, but there can't, can't be, be much left, left in the half. First half and yeah. it's the Rockets 14, Belmont 6. Here we go, getting set here. Foxy set to kick off. I know last year, this is Lucas Fleming's second game back. He was a kid who could really boot the ball too. I'd have to gut you about the 25, fielded cleanly right there. Gets outside here, stays in his lane right there is Ferrante. Nice play by, by uh, Ben right there. Might have been able to close on him a little bit, but that's a great job staying in his lane right there because he got cut across. And nice little run back to about the 42-yard line, and Belmont will take over here. All right, Rockets got a different defense in there. I think it's the first time we've seen him here. It's Kajander, Larry, Dominic, and uh, Oki on that line. Very similar looking play here. Looks like he's going to go a pass. Oh, he steps up. Immediately gets ripped down across the middle. See who that was in there. It looks like uh, Adam Deemer came across. A beautiful job by Deemer. I think that's going to be close to the half. I think they called it off. So one play here, and at least it might, might have been a timeout here, so they could be looking for some extra time. Hold on. Second and 16 here. Big pushback by that line, and Deemer came in and cleaned it up. This one, he's back to pass. He throws it across the middle. Oh, right there. Oh, boy. He throws it into the triple coverage, and Nick Perez almost comes up with it. Just missed it at the end. Good coverage right there. It was, it was DiNapoli, Conroy, and Perez, and Perez almost jumped that route, and he would have had absolute daylight in front of him, Brian. There was, wasn't a soul in front of him, but green and stripes. But a good play right there anyway, and it's going to be, I think it's third and long now. He still says two. Moving it back here. I don't know. Was there a penalty that we missed, Brian? I don't know. I mean, we I didn't did. See I didn't nothing. see a flag on the on the thing, but clearly they're moving it back, and maybe that's why they're holding it at second. I'm not sure. We'll figure that out. Been. Wouldn't be shocking over there. I think we had Joe Dwyer over there at one point over doing the sticks last week. He was absolutely clueless, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but he is most days anyway. Yes. Yeah, so He's so a great guy, though. I like clueless so guys. That's why I hang out with you, Brian. Exactly. All right. So now call it uh, second and 21. They've got to be getting late here in the second half. Not sure what the timing is, but that's why they're probably putting these passes up. He's going to try another one. Throws it across underneath, and he's there. Right there is Lynchy. He avoids him, and I think it's Ferrante over there. Good job. So just sidesteps Lynchy, but Lynchy does hold on and helps out in the second half. Ferrante slows him down, and they take him down for probably a gate of about 10, so a good-looking play. But nonetheless, it's going to be third and call it 13 upcoming here. Clock has to be ticking here. Ben.
Back to pass yet again. Oh, this one's a big push here. He's going to try to get around. Jay Kajan just going to say no and just pushes him out. So Jay was right there as well as 65 Lynchy. So nowhere to go. Nice push by the defensive line. And the quarterback could not get around Kajander. So nice job, nice pursuit by number 67, Jay. Actually, a, maybe even a loss of a yard there. So it's fourth down here. This really looks like it might be the last play they could get in the half. And a, you may see them just try to boot this thing and give themselves some field position. They certainly don't want to turn it over in their own field here if there is any time left on this clock in the second half. Maybe we can listen down in the field and see if we can get a time check for you. But nonetheless, uh, they might want to kick this one away. Looks like we have someone hurt on the uh, other side over there right now. So we got the trainer holding off a little bit of time. All right, here we go, Brian. It's fourth down. He is, he is back to kick. And let's see, it looks like we have DiNapoli back deep for Redding. He does kick it. It's a good kick. Adam back there, and he fields it cleanly from the 438-yard line. Oh, he's got a little seam. Nice cut back there. Gets over midfield. So good job by Adam. He takes it for about 15, 17 yards on the kickback. Nice fielded catch and caught a little seam there. Nice move by DiNapoli. He's looking more comfortable with the ball these days. Uh, four games in, Brian, for someone who hasn't played football since he was an E-level, right? Those are yeah, seven, right. eight-year-olds. So nonetheless here, listen, the Rockets have excellent field position. They'd love to see if they can do something here before the half, up 14 to 6. That's the half. And that was the half. So how about that? They just let it run out. So, guys, we will be back shortly. But at, the, at halftime, it is Reading 14, Belmont 6. We're good to go. All right, here we go. To start the second half here, Rockets are going to kick off this time, up 14 to 6. Foxy getting the guys lined up. Oh, it's a low kick. It stopped this live ball there. Wow. Good job. I tell you, it's, a, it's, it's the best field position they're going to have. But that was a very dangerous play. Number 83 hits him right off the hands. Bounces up, but he pounces right on it. So Belmont's going to take over here first and 10 from their own 44-yard line. All right, here we go. First and 10 here. Call from the 45 now. Similar setup, all, the, all these plays, you'll see these guys, uh, one guy go in motion, who's split. High formation, there we go, and we got three different options here. This one's gonna go right up the gut, oh! Just runs past Oki, if he took it inside instead of the outside, it might have been in there, but nice job to stack him up very quickly. Dominic DiCrescenzo, as usual in there, and Adam Diemer in there. Adam Diemer's really looking like he's, he's uh, doing a good job in there from the middle linebacker position, right? Just get it work on the right angles, and they only they only get a short gain there for what could have been a big loss, a short gain of about three. So call it second and seven upcoming. This one's a switch up the middle right there. He gets met. Oh, it's, oh boy! DiCrescenzo comes back over the top. Lynch was in there and Deemer again. And DiCrescenzo, yeah, one goes high and one goes low, and he crunches them. So gets three yards, but he, he felt that one. Number 24, Zach Kenyon out there. 41 out there as well. Let me see who's out on the right side. Tarasek. Oh, yeah, Tarasek, nice. Big play here, third down from midfield. This was going to be a swing pass. Good looking play right there. Oh, Trev Conroy comes in. Wow, what a hit here. It's going to be a first down. But once again, crunched again by call his name again, number 52, Dom DiCrescenzo. So good looking play. Uh, Trev uh, Conroy had a bead on him. Get past Conroy, gets cleaned up by DiCrescenzo. But it's going to be a first down here from the Rocket 43 yard line. All right, here we go. Got Wes Costin in there in that middle linebacker position too, or outside linebacker. 
Different formation. Couple guys in. He's going to be back to pass. Oh, Oki right in his face. That's a live ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. <laughs> Look at me. Here I am cheering for him, right? But uh, Dan O'Connor right in his face swings it out. It's a bad pass. I'd like to look at that one. See if it was uh, – looked like that was exactly, a yeah. lateral, right? It's close. If we, if we only had the uh, technology to do a little little quick uh, rewind, Brian, yeah, right? we'd tell these guys right on uh, if that was legit. But nonetheless, uh, incomplete pass, second and ten upcoming. Nice pursuit by Oak there. We need the tablet down there on the sidelines. Yeah, the RCTV budget, I think, uh, for <laughs> us right now, uh, after they pay me my uh, million-dollar contract, I think there's about – Eight dollars left for the rest of the year. That's for my, that's for me though. That's right. <laughs> eight dollars is for me. There we go. Right up the gut there, and oh, he gets met immediately. Nice job. I think that's Jay Kajander, number sixty-seven. Kajander, great play. Fooled no one there, and Jay stayed home and cleaned him up. So third and long here. I would imagine, you know, forty-yard line. I imagine you might be thinking four-down territory here, but long way to go in the game. Got Kyle Flanagan in there as well. Flanagan had a tremendous game last week. This time he's back to pass. Oh, big pursuit right there was Larry Lorenza. Oh, gets stacked up from behind. So the, the pursuit was Lorenza inside, Kajander outside, and they push him back. Now fourth and 15, and now they might have to kick. So great job by the defense, the defensive line right there. And it looks like we're going to have DiNapoli back, and they are going to kick it. So nice series of downs right there for the Rocket defense. Big Larry get in there. Now, he, is he a character or what? Oh, yeah. Lucas Lorenza. We had, we had two Lucases on the team in Little League. Uh, in Little League. He could pop water, right? So we couldn't kiss, call him Lucas and Lucas. So he, he adopted the name Larry. And Larry is an all-time classic, that guy. Loves it. Loves the football. Emotional player. I love him. Punt right here. It's up in the air. It's high. Right there. Oh, it's going to jump on that. Oh, boy. Fumbled by DiNapoli, and he fortunately pounces on it. So, so um, nice job to pounce on that. Not letting it away from him, but after he uh, didn't make the initial catch. But the Rockets will take over. Uh, probably their worst field position of the day at the 22, but that field position didn't matter last time with the big uh, big backs here. But it looks like we're going to see uh, the Perez offense out there. I don't know what we'll call it. We'll call it offense one or two, A and B, one and one A. Well, we got some guys in there right now. Let's see who we got on that line. Max Ramos, 61 in there. 68, Foxy's in there. Swanee's in there, 53. Joe Gilligan's in there. Perez will come out as the QB. Let's see who will be flanked with with backs. Looks like Fleming 44 is on there. 85 Dylan Lee out there as well. Mike DiPietro in there. I'd love to see him get the ball. This one's right up the gut to Fleming. Oh, just carrying people. He's actually still up. Oh, there's going to be a penalty here at the end. Let's see what it is. It looks like a horse collar on Fleming, and they're going to tack on another big yards here. So 12 yards for Lucas Fleming, and they're going to add some more here. Turn that into a huge play. I don't, th I think I'm, I don't know what they give for the horse call. It could be 15. Should be. We'll find out in a sec. And it is 15. So that's a that's a net play of about 30 yards right there for the Rockets, right to midfield. That's what happens when you're tough to take down. They'll do anything to take you down. And Fleming turns that turns a 12-yard run into a huge play. Same play up the gut. Lucas just Powell drives some guys over. Takes it for about four yards. There's, there's three linebackers over there saying, what happened to me? <laughs> he carried them for a couple of yards there. So we'll see, set, call it second and seven upcoming. Here we go, second and seven here for the Rockets. Find out where they're going here. They're on a, they got to get that formation right, and Perez waits for them. Here we go. Fleming flanking Perez. It's a handoff to Fleming again up the middle. He just drives it, gets back to the original line of scrimmage. So that one was a little bit slow to develop there, and the line got pushed back. So no gain on that one. It's going to be third and eight upcoming here. 
All right, Perez comes into play. We just Mike Lloyd just checks in for Dylan Lee. He should be split right here, number 17. 72, Keegan Lee is in there. We got Lee Brothers here. Derek Van Horn, 23, near side two. So it's Fleming flanking Perez. In motions, Van Horn. Oh, and there was some movement. Fortunately, they had two guys moving at the same time. It looked like Fleming just jumped. You can't have two of them moving at the same time. Would have loved to see what that play was. I don't think we've ever seen that setup before. Let's say maybe they'll try it again. But nonetheless, it's going to move it back five yards here, make it third and 14. All right, third and 14 here for the Rockets. Same setup. Maybe we'll see that same play. It's going to go back to passes. Perez, he pulls it down. He looks across the middle. Oh, it's intercepted in the middle. So intercepted in the middle right there by number 68. Or actually, number 68, I think, was in on the tackle. Foxy in there and Joe Gilligan, but it's thrown across the middle and it's intercepted by Belmont. So, listen, we still get a game here, guys. 14 to 6, Redding. Belmont just intercepts from inside Rocket territory. It's first and 10 from the 42 yard line. So, next week on either side of the ball, and they were costly. So, here we are. Belmont is first and 10 here from the Rocket 43, and they're going to be asking this D to step up. Right up the gut. Oh, the ball's to the ground. We might get it right back. Larry Lorenzo got right in the background, and I think Dom DiCrescenzo picked it up. Takes all of one play to get the <laughs> ball back, and we're just playing handoff right here between Belmont and Redding. It was a high snap. It was a muffed handoff. Larry Lorenzo's in the backfield, put the pressure on, and Dom DiCrescenzo picks up that fumble. Huge play right there, and the Rockets get it right back, not wasting any time. They break a huddle here. They're not wasting any time right into this thing. It's going to be a swing pass here. It's thrown behind them. That ball could be live there. Swing pass to Derek Van Hoen. You would have loved to have seen that one, Brian. If it was out front, he just uh, – Perez threw it behind him. That was dangerous, too, from where that went. That could have been a lateral, like it, Looked like it could have been a lateral, too, but it goes out of bounds, fortunately for the Rockets, so – just thrown behind uh, Derek Van Horn on that swing pass right there. It's going to be second down and 10 for the Rockets. All right, here we go. Second and 10 here. Split right for 72, Keegan Lee and Derek Van Horn. Near side, Mike Lloyd. Inside handoff right there is the Fleming. Gets met. Oh! <laughs> Almost looks like another horse call there. Lucas takes it for about maybe maybe just a gain of a yard. So it's going to be third and call it nine upcoming here. Let's see what uh, Coach Federa has in his bag of tricks here. There, Logan Fortuna in the middle there. Swanee, 53 in the line there. In comes James Neff Gatchel coming on for Lloyd. And Perez comes in with a play. Fleming back in. I'd like to see that screen pass over the middle again, maybe, right? They look like they're going to be a blitz right here. He's going to be a keeper right here. Oh, look at the room he's got. Gets met very hard right there. He's still on his feet, but he takes it for about seven. Call it six anyway. And it's going to be fourth down here for the Rockets. I wonder if we can see if we're going to punt this thing or uh, yeah, go give them some it. field position. It looks like that's what they're going to do. So with the lead and they're up eight, they may play the field position game here and look for uh, look for Thornton to boot this thing. And go for it. It looks like they could be going for it, though, here too. Damari, Damari and they come in, they are going to go for it. Whole new offense in there. Danny Damari comes in. It's going to be a keeper for Dan. He gets wrapped up, and I don't think he makes it. The ball's in the ground. They blow the whistle. But they, they're going to come up short, I believe. And I think that's going to turn the ball over. So they do come up a little short on fourth and five. They get four and a half, and it's going to be first down here for Belmont. 
Good field position right around midfield. All right, here we go. It is first and 10 here for Belmont. This one's a swing pass out here. This gets pushed outside, and right over there to push him out is, let's see who that one is over there. It's number 21 was Denapoli who pushed him out after a gain of about four, maybe three. So it's going to be second and seven upcoming. Second and seven here for Belmont. Very similar lineup formation for Belmont on each and every play, but it is really a triple option play for these guys. That's a pitch the other way. Right there is Ferrante. Nice job and just gets pushed out. So Ben pushes him up, but he does get the first down, it looks like. Perez comes over to help, gets out of bounds. So same exact play, just going to the right side this time. It's going to be a first down here for Belmont. Inside Rocket territory. First and 10 here. The Rockets mixing up with all sorts of personnel today. A lot of guys getting playing time, but when there's 40 guys on the team, that's very hard to do. First and 10 here. This is a high snap. That's a live ball right there. Oki comes in, gets pushed off. I'll give him grief for that one, but it's down. It's a loss of about 20. And... Uh, Great job right there. They're very fortunate for the Rockets. Well, unfortunately, the miscues for Belmont are killing them, absolutely yep. killing them. They get any type of momentum going here. They call timeout. High snap pushes it back a good 20-something yards here. It's going to be, I think it's second and call it 25 upcoming on the bad snap, and it's a timeout. All right, here we go. Call it second and 25 here. It's the beginning of the fourth quarter here, Brian. Rockets holding on to an eight-point lead. Guy in motion, it's a hand back right up the middle. Oh, he's got a little bit of room there. DiCrescenzo comes in and gets stacked up for a gain of about five. Bunch of guys stacked up. Nice misdirection play there. Takes it for five, but he gets stacked up quickly. Dom DiCrescenzo there, 65 Lynchy, Larry Lorenzo in there as well. So maybe less than five there. So let's call it, this is going to be third and 22 upcoming here for I have to believe in the fourth quarter here, too, uh, Brian. You might want to take a chance here, right? This has to be four down territory, you think. Yeah, maybe Not much time, you know. Try to pin him deep. If you have fourth and 15, I don't know about going for yeah, that. Yeah, we'll see. Third and 20 upcoming here. This play will be a big one to see if they're going to decide to do it. Certainly want to get on the uh, rocket side of the ball to even consider it. High snap, good play there. Swung out. Nice job there. Pursuit on the left side on Faroki. Good job. He cuts up inside him and gets met immediately by Lynchy Larry Lorenzo over there. And Dom D, you see Dom DiCrescenzo, he makes an awful lot of tackles on the other side of the field. He can move for a big guy. So even if the play's away from him, he never stops. Like to see that. So fourth down here. Midfield, this is a very, very risky play right here. For uh, it looks like they have Denapoli back as if they're going to kick, so that may be the case, but and that is the case. They are going to line up to kick this thing back to Adam. That's a short kick, let it go, let it go. It's going to bounce over, so very, very short kick went off the side of the foot. And that's only a net gain of about eight yards there. That's a killer for Belmont. Rocket's going to take over here very close to midfield. So ex might, have been, might have been better off maybe going for that one, Brian, right? But fourth and 15, it's tough to do. And that kid's done a very good job early in the game kicking the ball. But that one went off the side of his foot, fortunately for the Rockets. And the Rockets are going to come out here uh, on offense. Fourth quarter, they could certainly put this game out of reach if they get another score on the board, Brian. Yeah. Danny Damari coming in with a play. Neither team wasted much time in the huddle today. No. Like it's moving right along. I think these guys want to get to the varsity game out in Belmont. There's Nortellis. The Jaheim cuts it, cuts up. Still in his feet. Cuts back. He takes it for about four or five. 
Jaheim's definitely got some wheels. I think we get what we what we want to see is a little more north to south running, but I'll tell you, good play right there. He rips it off for about four on the first one. First down. Damari, Coach Federa, seeing what play call number two is on this drive. Just over midfield. Unfortunately, see number 66, Joe Gilligan hobbling off on crutches right now. He's got hurt out there. Hate to see that for anybody. Here we go. It's second down. He's calling for someone in motion. There they go. They switch up the play here. Now Conroy's in motion here. Going to try this move. It's a keeper to Thornton. No one bites on it, though, and Trevor still takes it for about four. Call it third and three upcoming. They've set up that play in the past where they've had uh, they've used that same formation as a flea flicker. So you might see them try to mix that one in today. This time, that could, that play could very well have been just a setup play, Brian. Yep. Right? They set up a formation, maybe show it once or twice, and then do a different play off the same formation. They run the <coughs> pass off of that, too. Exactly right. So that's a play there that I think, you know, the three guys on Thornton, he still takes it for four yards. Third and call it three and a half here for the first down. They do it again. This is what we're talking about. Same exact look here. And this one's going to go back, and it is the flea flicker. He throws it down the middle, and Denapoli's wide open. And that's exactly what we brought up, and it goes in for the touchdown. What a play, huh? They take one play to set it up, Brian. Yep. They set it up the very next play, and Denapoli is wide open. They pulled that last time, and this time Trevor Conroy does not under th uh, throw that one. He throws a perfect pass down the seam. It could have gone to two guys down there. And what a play. So we talked about setting it up. Uh, Brian, once again, we are, uh, we're like Nostradamus up here, aren't we? Oh, yeah. We see a play. We call it. It's going to be a setup. Next thing they do is exactly what we tell them they're going to do. Yep. It's awesome. What a great play Same right there. Th hey, three different people doing a great play right there. Damari and the play calling. Yeah, the coaching with the play calling. One. Trevor Conroy going back for the flea flicker. And right down the middle is Adam DiNapoli. Big two-point play coming up here. It's going to be a pass again. He rolls out right, and he's going to take it himself in. Nice job by Damari right there. So, oh, we get a flag here late. So I don't know if it's going to be. I think it might be uh, an unsportsman light. He's, he's waving it, uh, saying it was against. Let's see who that was against. I don't think they'll call it back. He was in. But we're going to find out right here, Brian. Damari goes in. And let's see what happens here. But what a beautiful play. They didn't waste time setting that up early. They just do it back and forth two times in a row, right? Yep. Flea flick it down the middle. I love it. So it looks like that one does count, and they're just going to go back for a kickoff here. So Nice job Was by the Rockets. Six? And it's going to be in the fourth quarter, Rockets. Let's see. Yeah, 22, Belmont 6. All right, listen, it looks like there was a penalty after the play, after the uh, extra point, so they got to move the Rockets well back to the 25 for the kickoff instead of the 40. I don't know if it was an unsportsman like there. Ball falls off. Foxy's got to go back. Listen, Brian, your son, uh, Jason's up here working the uh, scoreboard for me. Yep. I taught him how to use that in, like, 15 seconds. He got the score yeah. right. I was trying to teach you. It took you, like, 30 minutes. You didn't understand what's going on. I still don't know what it is. So thank God for Jason is what I say. Exactly. Here we go. It's going to be great field position no matter what here. Got to stay in those lanes. Nice job Flanagan there to slow him down, and then he gets pushed out. He saw, he saw De Crescenzo coming over. He says, I'm going to run out of bounds. Right. Are you kidding me? I don't need to take a lick from that dude coming over. So it's going to be excellent field position here, but the Rockets get this thing in hand in the fourth, 22-6. to six. Three scores away for Belmont, but Belmont has excellent field position here. We'll see if they can do something. Trying to get their lineup with there. You know what, Brian? I think we might have to do – last year we did uh, profiles uh, on some of the players, right? Yeah, yeah. All the guys in Pup Warner. I think this year we might start doing parent profiles, there you go. right? Just zoom one of the parents and talk about them. Sure. That would be great. I'm going to work on that uh, next game. First and ten here. It's a sweep out here. they got to try a reverse. Right there, Jacob Jander gets pushed off. he got a little bit of room ahead of him there. So, oh, that's a push almost from behind there. Still on his feet. Finally gets taken down by Damari, but that's not until they get a first down, so close to the 20-yard line. 
So the reverse works well for Belmont. They're trying out some new plays, too, and that one's a big gainer for them. Here, here's Steve DiCrescento imploring, go D. I think he was an inspiration on that last one against Lexington, too. Similar setup. This one's a pitch out. Number 24 gets pushed out by Oki. Nice job to swing him back, but he still gets around. He's got room, and he got to go in. Wow. Tell you, good pursuit on that side to swing him out wide, but he just outruns the defense there and goes in for the score. Makes it look easy against uh, these guys. So Usually you see that uh, th those linebackers come right in and close if they get a little bit of a pushback. That didn't happen for the Rockets right there. I'm used, to, I'm used to looking for number 11 on a play like that. When he slows it down, he comes and cleans it up. I think they have Danny uh, Danny Damari playing outside linebacker today. I'm not sure if he's in even in the setup, but he is. Nonetheless, they go in here. It is 22 to 12 as we speak, and let's see what the extra point brings us. High snap up the middle. He gets wrapped immediately right there. So see who's in there. Danny O'Connor in there with the stop. Get some help inside. So nice job by Oki in there to jump. Anytime they get the extra half a second on a high one there. So they stop him in there. Oak with the tackle. I think it was a little help on the inside linebacker too there. So they do stop him here. And with uh, probably just a few minutes left in that. Maybe it could be, could be four, maybe four or five minutes. Maybe less than that in the fourth quarter here. It is Redding 22, Belmont 12. All right, the twin Trevors back deep, Thornton and Conroy. It's a squib kick right there, and it's jumped up right there. Oh, my gosh. Wow. They get the hands team in there. That was Fleming, and he grabs that thing. Oh, sorry, 84. It's not Fleming. I think that's uh, Grady. Jonathan Grady picks that up, and he has got some serious speed. And he had he was one tackle away from taking that exactly to the house. So great job right there by uh, by Grady. They tried the onside kick, and it almost, it almost backfired on Belmont horribly. So instead of horrible, it was just terrible. And they have uh, excellent field position here for the Rockets. Damari comes in. Redding's going to take over first and 10 from the 32. Let's keep it going. I don't know how late we are in the game here. See if we can listen down in the field for a time. Thornton's flanking Damari. Damari goes back to pass. Oh, there's three guys on him. And hey, look at this. He's, he's oh, gee. Oh, they're going to throw a flag on him, too. Jake Ajanda came back on a hit. I thought the hit was from the side, and I think they're going to throw a flag on him. Jay can't believe it that they called it on him. He hit him right from the side, but it was a broken play. Three guys coming in. Damari turns it into something, and they're going to call a clip on Kajander. I think Jay's uh, within his right to throw his hands up there because it looked like a pretty nice hit from here. They could have also maybe called it as an unnecessary hit, right? Because sometimes yeah. what they're doing now is if that play is, is beyond the play, they don't want these guys out hurting each other either. So we saw that at Pup Warner too, where we saw some clean hits behind the play that they still called penalties because they're just unnecessary, yeah. right? You don't need to do it. The play's already passed you. So that could have been very much the reason why these guys threw the flag on that one. So Jay might not be wrong, but nonetheless, the ref's jobs out here is try to keep these kids as safe as possible too. So it's going to be second and very long here after a 15-yard runoff. They go Thornton up the middle. He takes back about nine of them very quickly gets to about the 35 yard line Damari comes back for the play let's call it third and 12 right here for the Rockets This one's right up the gut again to Thornton. He takes it for about seven or eight. Tell you, he's been t running tough all year for us. He's almost guaranteed positive yardage. I don't think I've seen anyone throw him for a loss. And these are simple off-tackle plays, right? 
It's going to be fourth and five here. From this distance, you'll definitely see them go for it. Keeping the, keeping the ball on the ground, though, is taking time off the clock. You know, that, that two-point conversion was actually a big one, that last one, Brian, because could have got it within a single score. Right up the gut, the Thornton, all they got someone that looked like they're moving. And they didn't set themselves on the outside there? They weren't set on the left-hand side of the ball, and they're going to call it motion. They're going to call it fourth and ten here. Damari comes back for the play. Maybe see him put it in the air this time. Right, we'll see. Nonetheless, it could be clock management time at this point, so keeping it on the ground might not necessarily hurt you, but they're going to need ten here to move the chains. In comes James Nefgatchel. In for Evan Tice, switches up with Tice. And Damari comes in with a play. Let's see which coach, coach Federa has up his sleeve with fourth and 10 late in the game. <coughs> Effectively, you might think a first down could do it here, right? Yep. Could be ball game for Redding. Oh, we've seen this one a couple times before. Now they don't know what's coming, right? Now this one's just going to be the handoff. Oh, and it's a reverse. And he goes outside is, is, uh, is Conroy, and he gets very, very close to the first down. Let's see if they give it to him. Because if he's short, they're going to have to turn this thing over. But we've seen that formation three times, three different plays, and I think he might have come up short, so they give it first down to Belmont. So... Trevor Conroy was very, very close to that first down. He doesn't get it. So they're going to switch up the Rocket D right here. It's going to be first and 10. We'll see if we can get a uh, time on the clock here, Brian. All right, first and 10 here for Belmont. You might see them have to put the ball in the air here. It's right up the gut, and he gets absolutely mashed by DiCrescenzo and two guys in there, Lynchy. Man, there's a couple of big dudes you don't want to see. 52 and 65 with the Malachi crunch on him. Pushes him back. Looks like he has a hole to go through, and those two guys meet him in the middle and croak him. Looks like it's timeout Belmont right here. They're going to have to put a couple of plays in the book here. All right, here we go. Rockets up 10 late in the game here. It's going to be second and 10. Kyle Flanagan comes in for Trev Conroy defensively. He goes back to pass. He throws it deep, and he's wide open. Oh, what a play. Number five is wide open, throws it deep, gets under it past Napoli, and they go in for the score here. And now it's 22-18, it's fortunately, what, what, do I, what do I know about math, right? I'm talking about math with you. I couldn't figure it out. They can't do it. They can't, there's no four-point plays here, so we're going to have to edit that one out earlier, Brian said, because wow. uh, made a terrible math mistake there. But nonetheless, that is a huge play. Goes back very, very well executed for Belmont there. Get, the, get some air under that ball, and number five runs right, in, right under it, and he's got some speed, and he goes in untouched. So it's going to be 22-18 right here. They're going to go for two. I'm going to blame my math on four days in New Orleans, too. But nonetheless, <laughs> late in the game, and they make it a close one here with a huge play. Very good-looking play, too. It's one I bet they wish they tried a little earlier. It's going to be another pass here, and he gets, oh, it's a jump pass. Gets picked off by Deemer. He could go. Oh, boy, you got one guy to beat. He could actually go back. I wonder if they let you do that here. Will they let you do it and get two oh, no, points on the other side? They might call it dead in high school. They level. might call it dead in high school. I think that's another thing, right? You call it dead because you don't want to, uh, like you said, you don't want to get anyone hurt. But nonetheless, the Rockets stuff him. Deemer with a, with a nice interception up the middle. And as it stands here in the fourth quarter, it looks like Kajanda might be down hurt. Hopefully he's okay. They're going to go out and check on him. But it is Redding 22, Belmont 18. All right, here we go. 
Jake Agenda walks off under his own power. This late in the game, just a couple minutes to go, down four. You can expect another onsides attempt right here. Rockets moving up for only one guy back, who is Thornton. He's going to try this onsides again. Comes this way, gets jumped on by Dom DiCrescenzo. Nice job by Dominic to jump on there. So Dom falls on that one. Rockets take over. You knew it was coming, and fortunately it didn't bounce away. That one might, it probably would have gone 10 yards too, so it's certainly okay for Dom to jump on that there. He does a nice job pouncing on it. Rockets going to take over here first and 10 from just over midfield. And here for the Rockets. This is the big lineup that mowed right down the field. The big backers in Damari. Damari follows both of them. Gets pulled down from behind. Close to a horse caller. They're not going to call that one, but he gets it for about three yards. If he gets by that guy, he's got nothing but time in front of him, and there's a, maybe a timeout call here late in the game. All right, word on the field. It's just under the two-minute warning, and Belmont took a timeout here defensively. I think they only have one left. So second and five here. This one's a handoff right up the gut to Thornton. Look at the room he's got. And he might, oh, he runs it down. He's still on his feet. Thornton still won't go down. Huge first down, down to the 20-yard line. And he has been, he's got to be averaging about 20 yards a carry today. He took that one for over 20. And the clock may be running out. I don't know if they're going to call another timeout here and use the last one, but it might be out of time here. Rough field position for uh Belmont, the only thing they can hope for is a turnover. Huge run by Thornton. He's got big holes. They call timeout. Belmont uses their last one here. It's got to be very late here. And you know, I think the, the only thing you can possibly do is tell those guys to try to strip the ball here. If it's under two minutes, no time left on the clock. First down, they could potentially kneel here. They might be just outside that uh, when it comes to taking time off the clock. So Rockets could... Uh, they rip off one more first down here. I think they can kneel and win this game. The game will be much closer uh, on on the scoreboard than I think it was in the actual game, Brian. 22 to 18, huge play to make it close there. But the Rockets really uh, had this game in hand much of the much of the day, mixing in an awful lot of personnel. Inside handoff to Thornton. He stays in his feet. So again, he gets just a couple yards there, and the Rockets certainly content to do that because the clock's running. What Belmont can't do is give up another first down. That might be the first first uh, dime from scrimmage. He hasn't got posi uh, positive yardage all year as Thornton. Oh, he did get positive yardage. What do I know, right? Yeah, he moves him up there. Joe Dwyer working the sticks over there. Coach Federa sends Damari in with the play. Call it second and nine. This time we got Thornton right, Fleming left on Damari. It's going to be inside to Thornton. He's on his feet. Still on his feet. Dri still on his feet. He drives it. Oh, boy. He runs that very, very close to the first down. And if they get the first down, this thing is over. And it looks like it is. Game. The game is over, guys. They're lining up there. So they needed one more first down. They go to who they go to who else? Number 34, Trevor Thornton, who had a monster game on the ground today. But I tell you, the Rockets worked in. There's 38 players here. If they didn't work in all of them, I'd be shocked. There was a ton of personnel changes there for Reading. And once again, the Rockets, hey, they, they head off to 4-0 and here, Brian. Something to be said with a lineup this big, right? Because it's yeah. almost impossible to manage. But nonetheless. A lot of the same names we called offensively. G give credit to the offensive lines uh, on those big drives. Nice job by the Rockets there. And, um, you know, gave up a couple of big plays there, but they were big plays that they were, uh, you know, were basically meaningless at the end of the game. And what a beautiful play on that flea flicker, huh? Was yeah. that a beautiful setup play right there? So here we are. Hey, next week I think we're in Arlington. Is that right? Yep. Next we are in Thursday. Arlington, and I believe it is Thursday afternoon. Let's hope I can swing that one uh Brian, yeah, yeah. Thursday afternoon. But nonetheless, I'd love to get <coughs> out there to Arlington to see the Rockets try to go for 5-0. and But as we sit right now, it was Redding 22, 
Belmont 18, and the Rockets start off the freshman football season at 4-0. We'll see you next week.